All right, I am here in the uh, Fort Nelson Historical Society Museum, and I have all sorts of neat stuff about um, the history and heritage of Fort Nelson, which has its name because it was a fur trading fort um, that pre-existed the Alaska Highway, actually. Uh, and so they have all these uh, taxidermied you know, specimens of the wildlife around here, like. I've never seen a white moose before. Um, and they have taxidermied uh, grizzly bears and uh, black bears and timber wolves and everything. And then get a load of this up here. That canoe, it says, is built out of a single piece of spruce bark. Which is kind of mind-blowing. Um... Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Fort Nelson um, Heritage Society also has this garage where they where they uh, keep and maintain all these classic cars, and um, all these cars that you see here, um, they all still run perfectly. Um, 1965 Ford pickup, a couple, a couple Studebakers, 1924 Dodge, 1930 Model A, 1926 Ford Model T. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <coughs> and, let's see. And this one here is the is the oldest car in the in the in the house, and um, let's see. And the the man who takes care of him tells me that that uh, it's a 1908 Buick, and when it was a hundred years old, he drove it from here, from Fort Nelson to Whitehorse, in, um, in so in 2008, and that's 300 ish miles each way, just to prove that it could be done. <laughs> All right, so I'm out front here, and that's the sign for the uh, Fort Nelson Heritage Museum. And then you see the 300 here, uh, because Fort Nelson is at historic mile 300 on the Alaska Highway. Um, they were telling me that it uh, that when they built the Alaska Highway, some of the towns existed, but some of them were were started later on to have towns that more or less regular 300 mile intervals along the along the highway and Fort Nelson was a was a fur trading fort originally um, and later on it developed into oil mining and oil drilling so like these here are drill bits for oil drilling as is that over there standing up right there um, and then one big thing that caught my eye is this enormous crankshaft right here and these cylinders. And I saw that and I said, and I just had to ask what they were. Okay. Now, I asked about that crankshaft and they told me about this here. Now that is an engine. That is the, that is the Cooper Bessemer V16 engine. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the stats for you. Uh, 4,210 horsepower at 327 R crankshaft RPM, 16 cylinders, 15 and a half inch bore, and a 22 inch stroke. Um, so there were a few of these gigantic engines. I mean, look at. Um, I'll uh, I'll go up those stairs and look down at the top of it in a second. Um, and, um, so Fort Nelson originally was so far out in the boonies, there were no power lines or anything that came out here. So what they needed to do to power the town was have the, have a few of these gigantic engines hooked up to generators to generate electricity for the town. Uh, it's not necessary anymore, so it's a museum piece. 
and you see that down there with those four cylinders on it, um, with those four pistons on it, I, I, I should say. Um, that is the flywheel, which uh, weighs something like four tons. So it fell off and nobody wanted to put it back on again. Um, so yeah, so the engine is not necessary anymore, but they, preserve, they have this one here to preserve their history. And I've never seen anything like this before. So I had to ask whether there actually was any radioactive material on the, on the other side of this fence. And the girl who works here told me she doesn't think so, but around these parts, how can you be sure? So another thing I asked about was uh, this boat right here. Um, so this boat belonged to the game warden back in the day. He had a little cabin on the boat, actually. And he would, you know, patrol up and down the, Mus the uh, Muskwa River um, just to make sure people were behaving and not hunting in in inappropriately and things like that. And then the boat was eventually donated to the Historical Society and then they put that stucco covering over it to to uh, keep it from being damaged by the elements. Alrighty, so um, wrapping up my visit here to the uh, Fort Nelson uh, Historical Society. I'm in the historic Fort Nelson Anglican Church, which apparently was flooded and then moved here and made a part of the museum. And I just got a really interesting uh, presentation and crash course on the history of Fort Nelson, thanks to these lovely ladies here. <laughs> Say hi, say hi to the internet. Hello. Hey, all right. Um, so yeah, so Fort Nelson Historical Society and the museum, it's an awesome, it is an awesome place. I'll put a link to their website in the description. And, um, you know, like, share, subscribe, subscribe to them. <laughs> Just stop by and visit whenever you're in the neighborhood. And uh, thanks for watching everybody and peace out. Bye. 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 Canadian butter tart. <laughs>